10 Signs You May Have Kidney Disease More than 37 million American adults are living with kidney disease and most don't know it. There are a number of physical signs of kidney disease, but sometimes people attribute them to other conditions. Also, those with kidney disease tend not to experience symptoms until the very late stages, when the kidneys are failing or when there are large amounts of protein in the urine. This is one of the reasons why only 10% of people with chronic kidney disease know that they have it, says Dr. Joseph Vassilotti, Chief Medical Officer at the National Kidney Foundation. While the only way to know for sure if you have kidney disease is to get tested, Dr. Vassilotti shares 10 possible signs you may have kidney disease. If you're at risk for kidney disease due to high blood pressure, diabetes, a family history of kidney failure or if you're older than age 60, it's important to get tested annually for kidney disease. Be sure to mention any symptoms you're experiencing to your healthcare practitioner. 1. You're more tired, have less energy or are having trouble concentrating. A severe decrease in kidney function can lead to a buildup of toxins and impurities in the blood. This can cause people to feel tired, weak and can make it hard to concentrate. Another complication of kidney disease is anemia, which can cause weakness and fatigue. 2. You're having trouble sleeping. When the kidneys aren't filtering properly, toxins stay in the blood rather than leaving the body through the urine. This can make it difficult to sleep. There is also a link between obesity and chronic kidney disease, and sleep apnea is more common in those with chronic kidney disease, compared with the general population. 3. You have dry and itchy skin. Healthy kidneys do many important jobs. They remove wastes and extra fluid from your body, help make red blood cells, help keep bones strong and work to maintain the right amount of minerals in your blood. Dry and itchy skin can be a sign of the mineral and bone disease that often accompanies advanced kidney disease, when the kidneys are no longer able to keep the right balance of minerals and nutrients in your blood. 4. You feel the need to urinate more often. If you feel the need to urinate more often, especially at night, this can be a sign of kidney disease. When the kidneys filters are damaged, it can cause an increase in the urge to urinate. Sometimes this can also be a sign of a urinary infection or enlarged prostate in men. 5. You see blood in your urine. Healthy kidneys typically keep the blood cells in the body when filtering wastes from the blood to create urine, but when the kidneys filters have been damaged, these blood cells can start to leak out into the urine. In addition to signaling kidney disease, blood in the urine can be indicative of tumors, kidney stones or an infection. 6. Your urine is foamy. Excessive bubbles in the urine, especially those that require you to flush several times before they go away, indicate protein in the urine. This foam may look like the foam you see when scrambling eggs, as the common protein found in urine, albumin, is the same protein that is found in eggs. 7. You're experiencing persistent puffiness around your eyes. Protein in the urine is an early sign that the kidneys' filters have been damaged, allowing protein to leak into the urine. This puffiness around your eyes can be due to the fact that your kidneys are leaking a large amount of protein in the urine, rather than keeping it in the body. 8. Your ankles and feet are swollen. Decreased kidney function can lead to sodium retention, causing swelling in your feet and ankles. Swelling in the lower extremities can also be a sign of heart disease, liver disease and chronic leg vein problems. 9. You have a poor appetite. This is a very general symptom, but a buildup of toxins resulting from reduced kidney function can be one of the causes. 10. Your muscles are cramping. Electrolyte imbalances can result from impaired kidney function. For example, low calcium levels and poorly controlled phosphorus may contribute to muscle cramping. 9 Ways to Prevent Kidney Stones Kidney stones are hard mineral deposits that form inside your kidneys. They cause excruciating pain when they pass through your urinary tract. Up to 12% of Americans are affected by kidney stones. And once you've had one kidney stone, you're 50% more likely to get another within the next 10 years. There's no one sure way to prevent kidney stones, especially if you have a family history of the condition. A combination of diet and lifestyle changes, as well as some medications, may help reduce your risk. How to prevent kidney stones naturally Making small adjustments to your current diet and nutrition plan may go a long way toward preventing kidney stones. 1. Stay hydrated Drinking more water is the best way to prevent kidney stones. If you don't drink enough, your urine output will be low. Low urine output means your urine is more concentrated and less likely to dissolve urine salts that cause stones. Lemonade and orange juice are also good options. They both contain citrate, which may prevent stones from forming. Try to drink around 8 glasses of fluids daily, or enough to pass 2 liters of urine.
If you exercise or sweat a lot, or if you have a history of cysteine stones, you'll need additional fluids. You can tell whether you're hydrated by looking at the color of your urine, it should be clear or pale yellow. If it's dark, you need to drink more. 2. Eat more calcium-rich foods. The most common type of kidney stone is the calcium oxalate stone, leading many people to believe they should avoid eating calcium. The opposite is true. Low calcium diets may increase your kidney stone risk and your risk of osteoporosis. Calcium supplements, however, may increase your risk of stones. Taking calcium supplements with a meal may help reduce that risk. Low-fat milk, low-fat cheese, and low-fat yogurt are all good calcium-rich food options. 3. Eat less sodium. A high-salt diet increases your risk of calcium kidney stones. According to the Urology Care Foundation, too much salt in the urine prevents calcium from being reabsorbed from the urine to the blood. This causes high urine calcium, which may lead to kidney stones. Eating less salt helps keep urine calcium levels lower. The lower the urine calcium, the lower the risk of developing kidney stones. To reduce your sodium intake, read food labels carefully. Foods notorious for being high in sodium include Processed foods, such as chips and crackers Canned soups Canned vegetables Lunch meat Condiments Foods that contain monosodium glutamate Foods that contain sodium nitrate Foods that contain sodium bicarbonate, baking soda To flavor foods without using salt, try fresh herbs or a salt-free, herbal seasoning blend 4. Eat fewer oxalate-rich foods Some kidney stones are made of oxalate, a natural compound found in foods that binds with calcium in the urine to form kidney stones Limiting oxalate-rich foods may help prevent the stones from forming. Foods high in oxalates are Spinach Chocolate Sweet potatoes Coffee Beets Peanuts Rhubarb Soy products Wheat bran Oxalate and calcium bind together in the digestive tract before reaching the kidneys, so it's harder for stones to form if you eat high oxalate foods and calcium rich foods at the same time. 5. Eat less animal protein. Foods high in animal protein are acidic and may increase urine acid. High urine acid may cause both uric acid and calcium oxalate kidney stones. You should try to limit or avoid beef, poultry, fish, pork. 6. Avoid vitamin C supplements. Vitamin C, ascorbic acid, supplementation may cause kidney stones, especially in men. According to one 2013 study trusted source, men who took high doses of vitamin C supplements doubled their risk of forming a kidney stone. Researchers don't believe vitamin C from food carries the same risk. 7. Explore herbal remedies. Chonka Piedra, also known as the stone breaker, is a popular herbal folk remedy for kidney stones. The herb is thought to help prevent calcium oxalate stones from forming. It's also believed to reduce the size of existing stones. Use herbal remedies with caution. They're not well regulated or well researched for the prevention or treatment of kidney stones. 8. Talk to your doctor about the medications you're currently taking. Taking certain prescriptions or over-the-counter medications can result in kidney stones. Some of these medications are Decongestants Diuretics Protease inhibitors Anticonvulsants Steroids Chemotherapy drugs Uricosuric drugs The longer you take these drugs, the higher your risk of kidney stones. If you're taking any of these medications, talk to your doctor about other medication options. You shouldn't stop taking any prescribed medications without your doctor's approval. 9. Talk to your doctor about preventative medications. If you're prone to certain types of kidney stones, certain medications can help control the amount of that material present in your urine. The type of medication prescribed will depend on the type of stones you usually get. For example, if you get calcium stones, a thiazide diuretic or phosphate may be beneficial. If you get uric acid stones, allopurinol, xylopram, can help reduce uric acid in your blood or urine. If you get struvite stones, long-term antibiotics may be used to help reduce the amount of bacteria present in your urine.
If you get cysteine stones, Capitan, Captopril, may help reduce the level of cysteine in your urine. The bottom line. Kidney stones are common. There's no guarantee that prevention methods will work, but they may reduce your risk. Your best bet for preventing kidney stones is staying hydrated and making certain dietary changes. If you enjoy videos like this and want to see more consider subscribing and turning notifications on so you never miss any of our future uploads. Dear audience, that is for today, the source of information for this video is kidney.org healthline.com Thank you for watching.